Hey guys, Anibal here again. Today I'm gonna teach you how to install a, and play the games on the Vita 3K. Okay, there's a new emulator for PS Vita. They released today. There's a, already a second version, but it's a brand new emulator. So I'm just gonna show you how to do it. So I'm going to my file manager. Just to check, I put all the files in, in one folder just to make it easier for me to do this video. Right here we go. So files. Here I have the APK for the PS Vita. You can download this APK on the Discord server of the the creators of this emulator. Okay. Make sure you go over there because they are always updating and putting new things. Like this one is the second one of today. They released the emulator today and they already released a new version so let's download download no install first okay here's the installation okay sorry i used the wrong one <laughs> package installer yep here we go pretty straightforward just install the apk first open here we go, now I'm gonna choose the language I want English from the United Kingdom Here's important as well, you need to download those firmwares in the font package, okay? Entitled for your PS Vita emulator to work properly So you're gonna click on download firmware, it's gonna take you to this website of PlayStation Make sure you download the update, I already done this, okay? It's gonna be the same thing for the... the, the the font package after you download that you need to install okay so what are you gonna do you're gonna click on install firmware file allow okay and then I'm gonna go to my files first you need to install the big one okay you're gonna check they have the same name but it's slightly different one is 134 megabytes so this one is the the first one you want to install Here we go, firmware is successfully installed Okay, and now you see there's a V after the install now You're gonna go for the next one, 56 megabytes as well That's the font Here we go, both are installed, click on next That's it, you can you can move around things here, I didn't to be fair because I didn't, I didn't think you need so I'm gonna click next, system's ready for you right, don't show me next time, close right, I don't know what's going on here, All right, I'm gonna close the open again here we go. I have a user already. I'm gonna click on. You can create a user, you can delete a user. Okay. Now is the important part. To download games, you need to have two files, okay? One file point pkg and another file point bin. Work point bin, okay? I did download one game already, I'm gonna put the, the, the page that I'm using to download those games I'm not gonna put it on the description because of YouTube terms, okay, so it will be probably on the comments So to install the game is pretty simple as well, we're gonna click on file, install, point pkg, okay That's the best one, the other ones didn't work for me, the pkg worked fine, so oh, click on the wrong one, sorry Go back, go back, go. Let's start, let's start again. My user install PKG. And now you're gonna have to find the files, okay? Here we go, I have a Dragon Ball point PKG, that's the one I want. Now it asked me to select the work point bin. Every time on the website that I that I put if you choose a game, you you can download the point .pkg and the point .bin together, okay? Make sure you download both files, not only one, otherwise it's not gonna work, okay? Here we go, installing Dragon Ball Z, Battle of Z. 
after you install the game you can delete the the point pkg and the point bin file because it's already installed inside the, 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 the emulator so you don't need the old files okay the installation files just the now you just need to open the game pretty pretty normal to be fair it's, it takes a little while okay Here we go, the installation is done, okay, complete. The game is here, Dragon Ball Z, Battle of Z. Now to open the game, click on the game. You see there's an update, you can update the game as well, manual, blah, blah, blah. start. Click on start, the game is opening. And that's it guys, there's not much to do really. And that's it. That's how you install the Vita 3K and a game inside the, 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 the emulator, okay? After that you can delete the games. So to start you're gonna... It's, it's like a normal game, isn't it? You need to create a new save data. Okay, okay. I don't want to connect to the PSN. Cancel that. Oh, cancel that. Yes, I'm gonna play offline. Everyone on Earth, please give me some of your energy. Here we go. Single player mode, and that's it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to leave the like. Leave the, a comment what do you think about uh, if the, the game works for you or not, which games are working for you or not. Hit the like button, subscribe, share it with your friends as well to help the channel to grow. Make sure you use your links as well, like we have an, uh, some promotions of uh, VPNs and phones as well, so check those. Okay, see you on the next video, bye!